Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up the new Nest Cam battery, or how to install the new Nest Cam battery powered. So we've got our Nest Cam here, and what's unique about this is that this can actually be completely battery powered, and then it connects to your Wi-Fi network. But it also does have the option to allow you to plug it in if you don't ever wanna recharge that battery. So you can just have it completely hardwired, or you could have it battery powered, and that means that you can place this just about anywhere. It's also an indoor or outdoor camera. So a lot of versatility with this new Nest Cam battery powered that came out in 2021. So in order to get this set up, you need to have the Google Home app. If you haven't already done that, go ahead, download the Google Home app, set it up, get it installed on your phone. So we've done that and we're just in the home screen for the Google Home app. Now all we're gonna do is go in the upper left-hand corner here and we're gonna click on the plus symbol and then we're gonna click on set up a device, this top option right here. So we're gonna set this up and we have two options, works with Google or a new device. This Nest Cam is a Google device. So we're gonna click the top option here, new device, and then we can choose our home. We've only got one here. So we're gonna go ahead and click next and then it's gonna start looking for devices. Now it's not gonna find the device unless you have it plugged in. So you wanna make sure that you have this plugged in when you're trying to get it set up. So you can see there's a couple little magnetic contacts on there. You go ahead and just slide that into the hole at the bottom of the Nest Cam battery powered. And then we're just gonna go ahead and plug this into a power outlet. So I'm gonna plug this in. And now this is gonna power up right here. You'll see a light come on here eventually. And we're just gonna go ahead and while we wait for that, you might have heard a little ding. Uh, once you hear that ding, you see the light, we're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and click on camera up here at the top. It says, what are you setting up? A Nest Cam battery or other Nest cameras? We're setting up a Nest Cam battery. So we're gonna click this one here at the top. It says scan the QR code. Now on the front of your device, there was probably a little paper insert like this. Well, the QR code's right there in the middle, so you go ahead and take that and you can scan it. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't have that QR code or you lost it, or maybe you got this second hand, don't worry about that. There's actually a setup code right down here underneath the power cord that you can go ahead and use, and that's gonna allow you to set it up. But we do have the QR code, so we're gonna go ahead, use our camera on our phone, and we're gonna go ahead and scan that QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And we're gonna bring that back up here on screen. And now it says new Nest Cam battery. So we're gonna go ahead and just start clicking through this and go through the setup process for the new Nest Cam battery. So I'm gonna click continue here. It says by tapping, I agree. You agree to the Google device arbitration agreement. I'm gonna click, I agree to that. It says usage guidelines and there's some safety disclosures here. Go ahead and read that. And we're gonna go ahead and just scroll down and then we're gonna click next. Now the privacy guidelines screen pops up. There's some information here that you should go ahead and read. We're gonna go ahead and click next on this. It says help improve Google Nest Cam. It says uh, automatically share device to sats and crash reports with Google to improve everyone's experience. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and click no thanks. It says remove the QR code sticker and place it in the quick start guide. We've already done that, so we're gonna go ahead and click next here. And then it says, plug in your camera indoors. We've plugged it in, it's powered up. We've got the light on right there. So we're gonna click next here. And then it says, where are you putting this camera, indoor or outdoors? This doesn't really matter too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and say outdoors for now. And I'm gonna click next. Now we need to choose the Wi-Fi network we're gonna connect to. So I'm gonna choose that and then I click next. Then I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Wi-Fi password. And I'm gonna go ahead and click next once I have that Wi-Fi password entered. Now it says, where is this device? We get to choose a location. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new location. We're gonna call this one backyard down here, or you could choose any of these other ones, entryway, attic, backdoor, basement. We're just gonna leave it as backyard. And then I'm going to click next and it's going to start getting this device ready. You can see up here, it's still blinking, you got a blinking light. Uh, it means it's powered up and it's also doing some work with the downloading and updating right now. So we'll continue to let it do its update and then we'll get this connected. 
All right, the update has finished and now you can see we've got the live view of our camera right here. You can see my hand right there on the screen. I'm moving it and we've got the camera right here. So now our Nest Cam battery powered, the newest Nest camera that just came out in 2021 or the fall of 2021 is set up and installed. So it says check your camera's view and Wi-Fi connection. Now what's really cool about this is I'm just gonna pull it off here is that this is a magnetic base that the camera can just go ahead and lock into like so. So you can just pull it off and all you have to do wherever you wanna install this is you just go ahead and you've got this little mounting bracket that's in the back here. You screw this mounting bracket in and then it's just going to go ahead and just lock right into place and it just rotates however you want that to get in there. So you go ahead and you rotate this into place and then that's gonna secure this camera. So let's see if we can't rotate it just a little bit here. There you go, you've got it rotated and you just put two screws through there and now you've got your camera, you just go ahead and that magnet's gonna hold it up just like you can see here, it can hold it up side to side, up and down, and that's gonna hold it in place. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this setup here and uh, just go ahead and click right through here onto the next button. So it says, will you use a mount for your camera, the magnetic mount, Nest Cam Stand? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the magnetic mount, that's what came with it, and we're gonna click next. But there are a lot of third-party accessories that allow you to attach to this, and there's even a little screw socket down in the bottom of there that you can also use for attaching to that uh, more standard type third-party mounts. It says, choose your wall surface. We're just gonna call this one wood or drywall. We're gonna click next. It's gonna go through what you need to secure this, uh, but basically, if you can screw a screw into whatever material that you wanna put this on, you're gonna be able to get this installed outside. So we're gonna go ahead and click next here, and we're gonna go ahead and click next again. It says choose a height and place. It says put it six to six and a half feet above the ground. I usually like to go just a little bit higher than six and a half feet. Now that changes the view angle, uh, but the reason I like to go a little bit higher is that it's less likely to get tampered with if it, let's say at like seven feet, eight feet, maybe even nine feet but you will lose out on seeing people's faces as good when it's higher up like that. So we're gonna go ahead and click next here. It says mark and drill the holes for the screws. Go ahead and click next, next, next again. It says attach a magnetic plate to the wall. Click next and attach a camera to the magnetic mount. We're gonna click next. It says adjust the camera view. Now what's nice about this magnetic mount is that you can tilt it up or down really easily and then you can also rotate left and right, however you need to. And you can pretty much go a full 360 degrees around, and then you can pretty much do, I don't know, 135 degrees or so uh, up and down like this, because uh, it's got that magnet on the base of this, and that will just attach to it. So you can see, boom, just attaches like so. We're gonna go ahead and click next again. It says camera on, the green light will turn on to remain on whenever your camera is active and recording video. So you can see that green light's on right there. We're gonna go ahead and click next. It says live viewing. When the camera is blinking, a green home member is viewing the live video. So we're gonna click next again. It says choose whether you want to turn on video recording. We do. You do get three hours of event history even if you're not paying for the subscription service. If you pay for the subscription service, you're gonna get uh, like 30 days with that Nest Aware subscription. So we're gonna go ahead and click next again. It says adjust your mic settings, turn on the microphone. You definitely want that and turn on audio recording. We're gonna click next. And now we're gonna to go to the next options here. It says stay in the know, stay up to date with Google's hardware products and related features. We're gonna go ahead and say no thanks for this. And then it says getting your device ready. This may take a minute. It says you're all set, so we're gonna click done. And now let's go ahead and see if we can't see our backyard camera. We're gonna click on that in the Google Home app. It's connecting and there we go. We can see the live view again right here on our phone. And if we want, we can go click through the history and we'll be eventually able to see the history when more clips are stored and saved. And then you can go up here, you can adjust your settings if you wanna click on this. It gives you a variety of different settings to adjust right there. And let's so go ahead and see what happens if we click more. Uh, just some more settings here that you can go ahead and turn the camera on or off. Now, what I really like about this is I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it here. So uh, on the bottom, you can just charge it. It's got this magnetic cord 
and uh, it's just a couple contacts there. But you can see we've unplugged it and you still have the live view. So I really like that this is battery powered, but that you can also charge it up and that you can go ahead, pull this off, charge it up, and then uh, put it back on really easy. You wouldn't need any tools for that. But that does also lead to it could potentially get stolen. So maybe it's better to have it a little bit up higher. But if you wanted, you could wire this up with uh, the provided adapter. There's also some longer third party adapters and you could plug this in and then you'd never have to worry about that battery and having to charge it up. But it's nice to have the option to either use the battery and or the cord or a longer third party cord. The one that comes with it's probably about three or four feet long, but I've seen ones online that are much longer than that on uh, the 10 to 15 to I think even maybe 20 feet range. So that's really nice. And then it just connects via Wi-Fi to your phone. Uh, you wanna make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi network. Now, the other really great thing about this is the versatility. It is an indoor or outdoor camera, so you could use this indoors or you could use it outdoors. So you could put it outside, you wouldn't need any wiring for that. And then maybe you don't like it there, you could move it inside, but it will hold up to the elements. And in my testing of other Nest products, that typically has been true, I haven't had any issues with them. And right now I'm actually also testing out the Nest video doorbell battery powered which also can be hardwired or battery powered. It's lasted pretty good. I've had it up, I don't know, a couple of weeks now and the battery levels have been pretty well maintained. And I think the battery will last on this pretty long, but until I've tested it out for a month or two, I'm not gonna know the exact battery life. And the battery life claims are always related to how much motion detection, what you adjust those settings to, and how much it's used. So if you have a lot of motion all the time, that's gonna wear the battery out sooner. If you have a bad Wi-Fi connection, that's gonna wear the battery out sooner. You're gonna to have to charge it more often. So if you are careful with the motion settings and have it covering a proper field of view, and you don't have a ton of motion in front of it all the time, like maybe it's in your backyard, or maybe it's in the side yard, or maybe it's on a front yard on a non-busy street, the battery will probably last at least a couple months, at least from what I'm experiencing with the Nest doorbell. However, if you put this on a busy street with a ton of traffic, that battery is probably gonna deplete sooner, and you might need to go up here and adjust your settings or put it on a schedule so that you get longer battery life. But if you're worried about the battery life, you could just get a plug-in adapter like so, that's a little bit longer and wire it up. So thank you for watching this video on how to install the Nest Cam outdoor or indoor or the Nest Cam battery that came out in 2021. Appreciate you being here. We're gonna have a review on this. We've also got a setup video for the Nest battery powered doorbell. So we hope you enjoy that. And please go ahead, give us that thumbs up, subscribe and click any links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.